astros on the Hello ladies and gentlemen subscribe Astro Sunder and press the bell icon. Today we are going to see secrets of Neptune in different houses 1st to 12th all houses Neptune in 1st house. You are yielding, gentle, and impressionable. You tend to melt into your surroundings, and do not make a very powerful vivid impression on others. Especially while young, you may not have a very clear sense of identity. Sensitive and compassionate, you do not enjoy fighting, and no matter what you profess, you are a pacifist at heart. Neptune in second house. You may have a great deal of confusion over money, financial matters, and ownership. Perhaps these things mean very little to you. Or possibly you simply don't know how to deal with them in a realistic effective way. Also, you may make your living through artistic, musical, or highly imaginative endeavors. Neptune in third house. Daydreaming, lack of concentration, and inattention to your surroundings, can be problems for you. Your mind tends to wander, unless you are using it in an imaginative creative way. Dry facts and cold logic hold no appeal for you, and unless a subject has a colorful or personally inspiring element, you won't stick with it for long. You have a sensitive, intuitive bent. Neptune in 4th house. Your childhood and early home life were colored by a great deal of confusion, or by people with unusually active imaginations, aspirations, or fantasies. It is difficult for you to see your childhood and your relationship with your parents in a clear, realistic light. You may search for the ideal, loving home you wish you had, or believe you had, when you were a child. Finding inner peace and a sense of emotional security within yourself is important to you. Neptune in 5th house. Your creative self-expression has a very imaginative quality, and you have a particular affinity for drama, theater, film, and other artistic mediums in which creative fantasy plays a major role, in love and romance. Also, you often have glamorous fantasies, that have little to do with reality. Neptune in 6th house. You have a sensitive physique, and may have allergic responses and sensitivities to foods, medicines, or anything you take in from the environment. Emotional stress and confusion seem to affect you physically, even more quickly than they affect other people. Neptune in 7th house. You often have very naive, idealistic, or overly romantic attitudes toward people, and it's difficult for you to see others realistically. You may prefer to keep your relationships on an idealistic or platonic level, so that you don't have to deal with the more prosaic earthy human aspects of relating. Thoroughly investigate potential marriage or business partners, as your gullibility and desire to see only the best in people may blind you to the truth about others with whom you form a close alliance. Neptune in 8th house. You have a very active imagination and powerful fantasies. You may develop an interest in the supernatural psychic phenomena, or occult subjects. You may have strange fantasies and or nebulous fears of ghosts, the astral plane, or death. It's better for you not to dabble in such areas, unless you are thoroughly grounded in the practical world as well. Neptune and 9th house. You love to dream, fantasize, and speculate. You are willing to entertain the most far-fetched ideas and philosophies, since to you anything is possible. Anything exotic, alien, or far away holds a great attraction for you. You can have very otherworldly beliefs which are quite impractical and irrelevant to your everyday existence. Neptune in 10th house. You are a very idealistic person, and you want to see your ideals, hopes, and dreams made concrete and real in the everyday world. You are driven to put your ideals into action. When young you may be rather aimless, or confused about your place in the world. In early adult life it is likely, that you struggle to find ways to express your imagination, fantasies, and ideals in your career. Work that involves compassionate service such as medicine or the ministry, may be your calling. If you lack personal integrity and honesty, you quickly go to the opposite extreme, and you can con others through dishonesty and trickery. Music, art, filmmaking or entertainment are also areas in which you are well suited. Neptune in 11th house. You are idealistic in your social and political outlook, and your ideals may impel you to join clubs, organizations, Communities of like-minded people, or groups that share your vision and your concerns. Neptune in 12th house. 
compassionate and extremely sensitive to the emotional tones and the atmosphere surrounding you. You are naturally psychic or able to sense and understand much about a person without talking to them or knowing them consciously at all. You are deeply interested in the hidden realms of life and the afterlife. Your powerful sensitivity may also remain latent or oppressed through much of your life and then be fully awakened in adulthood.